In today's video, I will show you how to add a scorecard to display uh, the main KPI so on your dashboard. Let's begin. Uh, I prepared a dashboard with uh, Google Data, Google Analytics data source al already connected to it. Uh, to add a scorecard chart, we need uh, to click uh, here and choose a scorecard. I want to replace the new user's metric on revenue. And in order to do it, I just type here revenue and change in the metric. It's quite useful to add a comparison date range to display the variation of our KPI. And in my case, I've, I want to compare versus uh, the previous period. To do it, I need to click uh, here and choose uh, here uh, previous period and uh, apply. Uh, then I can adjust the styling a little bit to make sure the scorecard uh, looks more visually appealing. Uh, so I go to uh, style and uh, first of all I, I can choose how to display the comparison labels. By default uh, they are hidden but it is quite useful to show them uh, for the end users not to be confused with your dashboard. And here you can see that we are comparing versus previous 30 days. Besides, we can switch between displaying the absolute versus relative change uh, here. You can see that we can change the color labels of uh, comparison metrics. Right now I will show you where uh, it can be useful. I'm making a copy of the current scorecard, just a command C and command V. Then I change in the metric and I want to display the cost per click. And uh, now you can see that the comparison label is showing a positive green change, but it is incorrect. That's why I'm manually adjusting the label and uh, the positive uh, change will be red and uh, the negative will be green. And right now it's showing the correct date. Other tweaks that we can do are changing the style, padding, font size, background, alignment, the scorecard. For instance, I can scroll down and uh, fill the scorecard with light blue. Uh, also, I can round the corners, align metrics, and so on. Another uh, useful feature that you can do with your scorecard adding uh, conditional formatting to highlight the scorecard when a metric reaches a particular threshold. Uh, to do it, I press add and here I need to select a condition. For instance, if it's greater than 150K, I can change the font color of the metric or fill the whole scorecard. In my case, I will fill the whole scorecard uh, with uh, green, for instance. And then I press save. Uh, the last hack that I want to share with you is how to display a scorecard with a comparison of two periods. For instance, uh, you want to compare versus previous months and also versus previous year. In this case, I just need to duplicate the current uh, scorecard and then change the comparison date range to the previous year. Right here, I'm choosing from the drop-down menu previous year and uh, press apply. Then I go to style and choose uh, uh, hide the metric name and uh, the font color I need to choose uh, the same as my background color. In my case, it will be white. Uh, then I right click on the scorecard and choose orders sent to back, adjusting uh, the position of it a little bit. And for better understanding, uh, you can uh, add text labels on the left for the end user, something like this. I hope that this video was useful and make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel not to miss new videos about Google Data Studio and if you need help with Data Studio, check the links in the description below.